We do want to get to Commissioner William Gross, who is speaking about the breaking news, the shooting in Dorchester. Let's listen in. On arrival, the officers located an adult male in his late 40s, suffering from gunshot wounds in an outdoor crime scene on the porch of 45 Bernard. Unfortunately, that male was pronounced on scene. God bless him. Um, at this time, as you can see, it's an active crime scene investigation where we're looking for any and all evidence, witnesses, and hopefully any video that we can glean from any of the houses and cameras. If anyone has any information, you can contact the BPD anonymously, 1-800-494-TIPS, or the Homicide Unit, 617-343-4470. Anyone that may have heard shots or witnessed anything. I saw it also very traumatic. It's traumatizing. So um, the trauma response unit is on scene as well. And they can be reached at 617-431-0125. Folks, we find ourselves at another shooting scene in midday. And again, this always allows me the opportunity to educate everyone that is only one or two percent doing bad things. So I'd like to thank the folks that called 911 that allowed us to get here in such a timely fashion that it'll help us facilitate the investigation with any and all evidence that we see. And again, this is time for us to work together. You've already heard me preach before. You know the mentality that's been set out there, but we, working together, can bring people to justice. So with that being said, Turn this over to District Attorney Rollins. Um, our condolences go to the family uh, who is present here. Um, we believe the deceased died on his front porch, and this family is going to have to live with um, that being a fact uh, moving forward in their life. Um, we are grateful for the people that have called 911, and um, I'll be with the Boston police to make sure that when we find the person that did this, uh, we'll be asking that they are not um, allowed uh, freedom for quite some time. So call our office if you have any additional information. This is a brazen daytime shooting. Um, we, we need to work really hard together, and we hope you trust us enough to call and give us information if you have any information. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, I got a couple. Just... Um uh, the commissioner is fine. Um, did he live at that home there on the uh, on Bernard Street here? We're trying to find that out right now. Okay. And um, just the fact that this happened again during broad daylight during right. this time that we're living in with COVID-19, a day after or two days after a fatal shooting on Saturday night, just a few miles away. How upsetting is this that this is kind of a trend that's continuing? And don't forget the criminal that shot at four police officers too. Of course. Yeah. Look at the folks here, upset. This should not be happening in our neighborhoods, with our children, our family. I guarantee you, you look around Massachusetts, you don't see this in other places where violent offenders are being released, where you set a mentality that you can just shoot whenever you want in the middle of a day with families and kids around. So yes, yeah, it's very disheartening. And just for the record, I work hand in hand with the district attorney who never said anything but violent offenders should not be released, and she's working hand in hand because we understand. We come from these neighborhoods. So I think there's certain people in the judicial system that have a disconnect. And if people were being released in their neighborhood, I bet there'd be a different story. But you folks, use your voice. You've heard me many times say it. Now use your voice. If people aren't doing their job on the bench, got to go. So. Do you have any information about the, the suspect here, the suspect vehicle? We had heard on the radio that it was maybe a blue yes. Lexus you guys were looking for. Is that the case or no? So, oftentimes in shootings, people will give out descriptions of vehicles, but we don't know if they're fleeing the scene themselves as a suspect or as a potential victim. Uh, so we never put that out in, in that manner because, again, some of the best defense attorneys in the world. We don't want to jeopardize the integrity of an investigation by me making a prejudiced statement. And uh, do you have any 
video that you're looking at? Uh, how, are, how are you, you know, working on this case right now? Is there any other details that you sure. can provide? Um, per usual, in homicide investigations, death investigations, we look at everything we can. And um, I'm glad you asked that question because this allows me to educate everyone. Yeah, Unlike the old days when he said people didn't step up in the neighborhood, people are helping in the neighborhood. They're not desensitized to violence and they want to see this stuff stop these violent acts. So, with that being said, I can't um, <laughs> give a promotion to any named doorbell camera, but any cameras, any personal uh, videos that are going from somebody's phone or from their house, uh, people are helping out, and we do appreciate that. Uh, you thank you, Commissioner. Just one mm -hmm. last question. Do you have any reason to believe that this is connected to any of the other, like you just mentioned, those other mm -hmm. cases from the weekend? Or we wouldn't know it too fresh at this time, so I'm going. Okay, thank you, All right. Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.